My name is Henri Moreau. I was born in Paris in 1875, the son of a wealthy family. After attending the École Spéciale Militaire, I served in the number of overseas posts. Right now, I faced my biggest challenge yet. It was March 1915, and as a French general in charge of a division on the Western Front, I faced a daunting task. Germany was attacking on multiple fronts, and our troops were tired and depleted. The situation seemed to grow more dire every day, and a sense of despair hung over us like a dark cloud. As a leader, I tried to remain optimistic and inspire my men, but it was hard to ignore the constant losses and the growing fear that we were fighting a losing battle. Compounding my concerns was the knowledge that my own brother, a major serving on the front lines, was in harm's way. I was torn between my duty as a commander and my love for my brother, and the weight of that burden only added to the pressure of the situation. But even in the darkest of times, there is still hope. I watched as our troops pushed back the enemy, reclaiming some of the ground that had been lost. It was a small but significant victory, and it gave us a glimmer of hope that maybe, just maybe, we could still turn the tide of this terrible war. Looking back now, I realized that those dark days on the Western Front taught me an important lesson. Hope is a powerful force, and it's one that can sustain us even in the face of unimaginable adversity. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to episode 2 of the Allies series on the Great War Western Front. Episode 1 was rather successful, although the AI did call for ceasefires three times in a row. Now, since then, the 1.1.1 patch has been released, and this has, in their patch notes, reduced the propensity of the AI to call for ceasefires. So, potentially, they're not going to be as, um, well, likely to retreat this time around. We'll see. We're still on March 1915. Uh, I am saving a research point so I can upgrade my trenches even further later. And I've decided to move the stack that I had over here at Ypres all the way over here to Luneville. Because I might be able to cut off Sarbour and eventually Strasbourg. Uh, taking up a couple of their sectors and forcing them to use a few more units to cover the rest. It's not necessarily uh, the easiest way to go about it. But let's see if the AI is going to at least respond to this little stack that I have right here. As for the supply caches, I have supplies in uh, most of the sectors except for Verdun because it's a really difficult sector to take anyway. So I'm hoping that with the supply caches in the sites that I have them, the AI isn't that likely to attack. Arras also has one. Um, the, the group from Lille could go into Hasebroek, but I rather doubt it. And over here in Ypres, I have my guys. Um, there are a couple of stacks around, but I have four. They have four, and they generally won't attack. So let's see what the AI decides to do, if anything. Um, and yes, they do decide to do something. So we're going to go for Morange into Nancy. Um, that's nine cores coming at me. I have seen worse. I only have a couple of my own. But I do have persistent trenches. I do potentially have some barbed wire already stashed for them. So let's give the Germans a warm welcome. Now, this is one of the battlefields that I have not yet had before. And because of that, I don't have any persistent trenches. When it comes to my supplies, I'm not that optimistic about my supply count. Especially if I'm going to start upgrading trenches. So, I'm thinking uh, defending not Alpha. Uh, mostly Bravo and the Command Trench. Just make a fortified position here. And hold on to that, because there's reinforcement points here. So the trench line here, um, right now I'm going to just remove. The trench lines here are only going to work against me. I don't want that. I don't care for that one much. At least not yet. Uh, the trenches here, mm, yeah, it's not too bad. But I would have liked to have these connected. So let's remove a couple more. And I'll just place down some of myself. When it comes to observation, I don't care for that. The enemy is going to come this way anyway. Um, I don't really need to see them coming. We'll be just be shooting them the moment that they get here. I'm going to go for my fairly standard defensive line. Which means uh, a double line. And with that, overlapping fields of fire. Backed up by mortars and uh, bunched up with barbed wire. As for connecting trenches, I prefer these. 
much over the comms trenches because from these I can still fire out at the enemy as opposed to having to hope that I can actually do something with the comm trench or that it's going to get used against me. You never quite know what the AI is going to do. But once they get into your trenches and you have a comm trench, you're basically saying, hey, you got a free transit here. Would you like to take it? Why not? Now, a couple of mortars. Um, will these things survive? I don't know. Will they be useful? Um, I'm very much hoping so. But the AI does very much like to favor those with the increased use of artillery. Okay, so that's one. Um, I might go for a bigger network. Uh, defending A with 500 supplies. I think it should be doable. I've already got 18 companies there though. And the problem is that the A is fairly close to their X point. If they park some already like here, they can easily wipe out mortars there and infantry. So I'd be forced to use the improved firing trench. And I don't really want to do that. I do want to upgrade some of the trenches here. Oh, they fixed... No, they didn't fix this. I thought they fixed it. If you upgrade the trench, the infantry persists, but sadly not. Uh, let's get some of the outer trenches also reinforced. Yeah, this one as well. That's still a bit of a dangerous thing in the sense that it's possible that you upgrade a trench and then forget to put more infantry into it. So you got your nice upgraded trench and you go, oh shit, where's my infantry? Well, you removed that, which is kind of a problem. Um, let's put a couple of comm trenches here. Not because the enemy is going to use them, but because I will. I'll put a mortar over there. A mortar over there. As far to the map edge as possible. I would very much like to get upgraded mortar pits. The ones that actually allow you to take a couple of hits before they go down. But right now, um, I don't have the funding for that. I don't have the research points. Okay, let's go with uh, a line of... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go all the way with the barbed wire. For the simple reason that if I don't, the enemy is going to walk in from either C or A. Now, they might very well take the command trench. Oh, that's a problem. I don't want to take... I want them to take the command trench. I like my command trench. Mm. Yeah, we're going to extend this right perimeter a bit much. Could be a problem. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm going to go one and one. So an improved line and a standard line. And that means this one's kind of superfluous. Let's connect that to... Oh, sorry, that's the most expensive one. You cannot have my command trench. Absolutely not. Okay, I will use a command or a connecting trench there. And I'll use one over here. Because this is fairly unlikely to get taken. Let's put some troops in there. I don't like stashing troops in the command trench. Not a big fan. I'll take some mortars here. Here. The barbed wire here might not be as useful. So let's extend that all the way over there. If the enemy does capture this. They're likely going to be able to spawn in troops here, if I'm not mistaken. It's a bit hard for me to see, but I do believe that there's a spawn point over there. So that's a bit of a concern. If they do, let's make it really hard for them to actually take it. As for this side here, if they capture C, they're going to spawn in there. So I'll also have to get some more barbed wire on this side. That'll be it. Let's go. Here we go. They've elected to take Alpha, which is pretty good because I have um, a couple of mortars that can help. And the barbed wire lines over here are doubled. Of course, the art is going to rain down and it's going to make my life a little more difficult. But the barbed wire should stop them. And the mortars, my god, the mortars. Just pew, pew, pew. And that's another group gone before they even get to the barbed wire. This is going to get... Pretty painful for the Germans in loss, especially these conscripts tend to fall very, very, very quickly. I'm going to take some rain here. You can also see the mortar pit taking some fire. 
They'll probably take a bit of damage, but should be otherwise okay. And I'm actually quite happy that they decided to take this line, because I got so many overlapping fields of fire here, that it's very unlikely for them to be able to make a breakthrough here. I'm going to swap a couple of these guys around, making sure I got a good healthy company over there. And much as expected, they do now have this spawn point. Will they use that? I don't know. That's going to be an interesting thing to see. Will they actually use that spawn? Because if they do, then they're basically spawning on top of my forces. And supposedly the AI has now been, um, let's say, informed about the fact that spawning on top of a bunch of defenses is generally not a very good idea for your health. So they shouldn't really do that. There goes another. This is extremely difficult to assail if you don't have any arty to either smoke the place up or just clear my guys out of course this works both ways i don't have any real intel on their trenches other than that this is what they have uh, this is going to be more difficult to assail without a bunch of arty fortunately based on what i can see they don't have any barbed wire so that's good it's just that I don't exactly know. I can't exactly see. I really like that the suppression has been cleared up. Because this trench is getting suppressed. So is this. But the guys over here and over here. Well, these guys are just getting suppressed. Because the mortar's taking fire. But they were firing. Wow. You guys got a lot farther than expected. That's impressive. They're now capturing Charlie. That's fine. I have planned for this potential outcome. There's more conscripts. Gone. Mortar going at it. Double, double mortars going at it. I did see a comment of somebody said, Hey, your mortars do appear to be hitting your own barbed wire. Um, potential, so be it. As long as it slows them down, the mortars at least should have an easier time taking down these guys. Again, they almost made it in, but not quite. And so far, I haven't lost a single company. And I cannot quite say the same for them. <laughs> Jesus. Based on the size of the groups that I'm seeing, I'm thinking they're attacking with up to 10, maybe 12 companies at a time. And now that they have C, they can also come from here. They probably have a couple of companies held in reserve as defensive units. But I'm really not uh, under any pretense of going on the offensive here. I don't want to. I don't need to. I don't have any arty. Uh, walking up to their trenches is probably going to go about as well. Probably a little better than this. Because my chances of getting there without hitting barbed wire is a little better. Um, I don't know about my chances of getting there without taking massive losses in companies. And I'm not really willing to try. Uh, so far. <laughs> Look at these guys fall. Gone. Gone. I think under the previous version, so 1.1, not 1.1.1, they would have probably already called for a ceasefire. That's my estimation. They would have probably already called for a ceasefire back then. Get out. Push their forces back. Yeah, well, we're not quite there yet. Let's get this company back. You're going to take that exit. Excellent. You're going to move up. You're going to move this way. I still got a couple of healthy companies on the left that I can shuffle. Yeah, there's already currently running down on the mortar pit. So I'd rather not pull these guys out of the fight right now. Lest they get them all killed. That mortar pit, by the way, is taking an impressive amount of fire. Oh no. Ooh, you guys made it out. That was uncomfortably close though. More arty. They're probably going to be able to take this mortar pit out. Will it be enough? I don't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get into... There you go. They did take it out. Run. 
before they hit the mortar pit again. Accidentally hitting you. Swap. So far, it looks like a slight victory for the Germans, but more likely going to be a stalemate. Whereas, of course, the Germans, well, they're on the receiving end of the losses, but with the losses so in incredibly diminished, the price of losing a fight is no longer nearly as bad as it was. And they definitely want the guys over here very, very dead. Barbed wire is definitely starting to wear down. Because you can see these guys getting pretty deep into my defenses these days. Get this fresh company up. Get these guys to fall back a little. I'm gonna swap these out. Okay, you can leave. Gone, gone. They have definitely reduced how likely the AI is to start cease firing. Get you guys some further shooters. Oh, there goes the last mortar. I've still got the thing over here, but it's against the guys over here. Very inadequate. Need to shuffle these guys back. You guys are going to go back. You guys are going to go here. i got a nice little roundabout build here. So I can start shuffling troops to the front and then a couple pulling away from the front. So let's have you guys just evacuate. I do need new shooters in this trench because this is going to fall. 60 men. Constant artery fire. They're lucky that they're in an improved firing trench, but that will not hold. Leave. <coughs> Quickly. Hold the line. Okay, you guys were able to make it out alive. Mostly. Yeah, go here and we'll shuffle sideways. Good lord. It's trench. Jesus. This really is where people go to die. This trench over here. The trenches here really haven't been hit hard. Good. Fresh shooters. Go away. Go away. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, boys. You can catch your breath. I'll get a new company in. I'll get this company out. Um, no. I'm not going to actually do a ceasefire. Let's see if the allies continue to attack, because that's what I want to know. If I do not accept their ceasefire, do they consistently go on the offensive? Or do we just spend the next three minutes waiting? Let's have a look. Now, as it turns out, 90 seconds in, the AI does not attack anymore once they've called for a ceasefire. So this kind of gives me the opportunity to not exactly go on a counter-offensive, but at least reclaim my captured positions. Which should give me a bunch of points, maybe pushing this into a slight victory. I'm not sure. Let's have a see, or let's have a look and see how it goes. Also, I want a couple more companies in here, because one company capturing is not going to go very quickly. Two companies capturing should go a lot faster. Yep, you can definitely see that thing moving a lot faster now. Here as well. Moving quite slowly. Second company in. Immediately speeds up. Excellent. So, um, ceasefires do indeed make the AI hold and not attack anymore. So, if I have a call for a ceasefire from the AI, that's the moment when I can go on the offensive. If I have artillery. Let's see, is this going to move the needle? Yes, it does. Very nice. And we're going to do that again. Which should put it into a small victory. <laughs> a small victory while I'm defending. Boom. Yep, there we go. I like it. Okay, and now we can just fast forward the time. Pull these companies back into the trenches. And go home with a minor victory. This fire has been cold. But, what's the result? <laughs> Standard victory. I like it. Okay, so you can kind of game the system here. With the AI going on the offensive, just let them crash into your defenses. Once they've done that, you can recapture the positions that you've lost, if at all. 
And once you have that, you can actually turn it into victory. So I gained national will and the uh, Germans lost nine. As well as I only spent 150 and they spent a whole lot more at 1321. So I'm calling this a victory. Uh, not only because the game does, but also because it means I didn't have to spend a lot. And the allies, sorry, the I used to be calling the allies uh, the enemy. Uh, the Germans did spend a lot. So it's also a strategic victory in that sense. Now let's see if that's the only spot where they'll actually strike. Nope. Uh, Metz is going into Nancy. It's 10 cores and again the game is predicting it's going to be a minor loss. Now I do believe that I fought here before. So let's have a look at the persistent trenches. See how much I can upgrade and potentially uh, hold on to more. Put down more mortar pits and let them crash into me once again. Now, I swear I had trench lines on this map, but I do not, surprisingly. Considering I have 731 supply, um, I have 60 companies, I don't think I can hold on to everything. So I'm going to see if the same tactic will work. I'm going to hold on to, in this case, uh, Bravo and the command trench, and I'll see if I can recapture Alpha later. For now, that's not a priority because it's too far forward, it's too likely to take arty fire, and it's not something I really want to try. The trench is over here, no thank you. I'd rather just build my own. Uh, I'm gonna once again do a double line. Uh, hold on, they need to be slightly slanted, I think. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? This thing should be leading. So... One, two, one. And then... Let's make limited overlapping firing arcs. Do... That doesn't need to be connected, actually. Do this. Mortar. Mortar. Because this can fire all the way out to there. And then I can have potentially another trench line-ish, like so. Because any men that goes in here can shoot all the way out to there. Nah. Not really. Not not quite working out as well as I thought it would. Um, standard trenches first, and I'll upgrade them in a bit. This one is pretty poorly positioned. Is they'll never come from this angle. And if I put men in there... Yeah, firing arc is okay, but anything here just doesn't get there. Okay, new plan. New plan. We're going to put these in reverse. Build a little bridge network, if you want to call it that. Men, men, men. That's one section. And over here, these buildings might look interesting, but in essence, they don't do anything. They're just there to look interesting, and <laughs> that's about it. Well, let's go with a calm trench from there to there. Let's go with another line. Yeah, I'll take standard and another standard. And then a heavy and a heavy. I don't want all my trenches to get suppressed at the exact same time. So let's make sure we have a little bit of spacing between them. I could potentially connect this up. Not sure if that's a good thing. If I do connect them up, there is the very real risk of everything getting captured at the same time. If they happen to break through over at Bravo. Or in reverse. If they manage to start pushing in here. They get into the command trench. And they just walk their way sideways onto here. So I'd rather not try that. I'd rather not have everything connected. Because I think the risk. Relative to the potential reward. Is not exactly in balance. I am expecting an attack from that side. Because... By my estimate, the AI will capture one position, which is Alpha, and then start spawning in troops from here, 
which will crash into the defenses there. That's the plan. The guys over here can immediately engage everything there and to the front. This is the main front line, and that's also going to get backed up by a bunch of barbed wire. I'm going to try capturing them in the barbed wire at uh, just about maximum range. So, right about there. For these guys, that's, oh, that's not quite maximum range. There. As for the position here, I cannot exactly put as much barbed wire here as I would like. This should buy me some time. Uh, this is problematic. That's a gap. Now, you can sometimes feign weakness on one of these sides and pretend that that is your weakest area. Whereas, in fact, it doesn't have to be. Of course, if I start putting down mortars, the AI is going to go, huh, maybe that's not the weakest side. Uh, they'd be right. But it's still going to be difficult for them to push through. Yeah, let's put that over there, next to the command trench. This one over here. I really do like the mortars a lot better than I like the barbed wire. Oh, sorry, than I like the machine guns. Because these things seem to be far more effective. What I don't quite like is the position up here. This side, yes, it has overlapping fields of fire, but it feels a little fragile. So let's try and buy some time. By getting a bit more barbed wire there. And if I want to get a trench there, I'm going to have to do so now. But it doesn't exactly fit anywhere. Remove this. Remove this. That's the third line in a row. Or just... Oh, that's too expensive. Um, I'll downgrade this one. Upgrade that one. I'm going to get a company in there. Do I have double companies anywhere? Yeah, here. You, get over there. You, get over there. And I can just buy another company when the battle starts. Okay, let's go. Based on the trench network for the enemy, they are very... <laughs> Very interested in keeping their command trench. Look at the just four lines right after each other. Pushing into this is going to be so damn difficult. Same here. Uh, no connecting trenches except for these calm trenches on this side. So it's going to be very, very, very difficult for me to get in there. Uh, I'm not planning on it. If the enemy wants to push into me with 10 companies, they're welcome to. And if I can then recapture the A point like I did in the last battle, I can potentially turn it into a victory while still making it very expensive for the enemy. There we go. They're capturing A. Um, the overarching plan for the campaign right now is to defend, 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 and get tanks. Because I do think that those are by far the most powerful options. Yes, aircraft are important. Uh, they're interesting to use. But right now... I don't think it's going to be the most deciding factor. Whereas what I've seen with tanks so far, if you just hit mortar pits with your Erdi and then let the tanks roll through, it's so difficult to stop. Oh, wow. Hello. Wasn't quite expecting you here. Mortar pits are going to be shooting right about now. I'm going to hit the barbed wire, but the secondary lines are not suppressed. There, now they've found the mortar pit. Good lord, there's a lot of them. So, it's almost like the attack on Alpha was a distraction. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, let's get a couple of extra companies in here, because I don't believe that this is quite going to hold. We're going to fight man to man. Which will be bad news for me, because I don't exactly... Well, if they do get here, it's going to be a lot of losses or a lot of weakened companies. There we go. Now we're man to man. You, help out. 
Yeah, they're going to take this part. But very, very, very briefly. But they did make it. There's another couple of attacks happening here. Which I'm really not concerned about. This is where I want to spend my attention right now. Because this is where they're at. Uh, you guys... Oh, hold on. There, there. Uh, there. Situation here is well under control. It is interesting to see that they try to breach the gap where there's no barbed wire. And of course, yes, they lost a bunch of men right there into the barbed wire. Just barbed wire funnels, like having this, it doesn't exactly work. It's not like the AI is smart enough or doesn't care, I don't know, about... Uh, oh, there's a little gap of barbed wire there, I can push through there. Maybe, but if you stack up all your units there and just pile everything through... It's still not a good look, because you're still going to lose a bunch of men. More Germans. Another wave of at least six companies, potentially more so. Seven. And without my mortar here, I'm only having to rely on the mortar on this side, which is trying to do whatever it can, but its range is limited. So they're definitely breaching this part of the trench. But their companies are in a really bad state by the time that they get here. So let's have these guys help out. You're gonna swap this way. You're gonna move up that way. And I'm gonna move you guys in here. Let's get another company holding that part. There's an attack on that side as well. Come on. Good work. You'll be able to hold that. Gone. These guys are gone. Hit him. Good. One. Two. You guys do need help. Six minutes left. Both mortars are now starting to break down. It's pretty bad news. But if I can just hold for six more minutes, it should be fine. Health check. Doing pretty good. It's just the mortars that are on low health. The rest of the companies do seem fine. You can go there. Swap these shooters around for healthy ones. Yeah. I think I'm pretty good. Just a few more attacks. And then ideally I'll go on the counter-offensive and retake Alpha. Come on. You guys are holding on for a little long, yeah, a little longer than expected. Because of all that suppressive fire. I might need to position my mortar like over there. Making it show that it's not as likely to get suppressed. I mean, the mortar's gonna get suppressed, but maybe this trench will not. That would be ideal. You're gonna go there, you're gonna go here, now you can go here. Go this way. They're attacking the front door again. And they're getting in. Not fully, but they're definitely making an effort. Gone. Gone. Okay, boys, I got some bad news for you. I want my alpha point back and you're going to do it. Or at least you're going to scout out the place. Retake this. Okay. Okay, we know where the next wave is going to come from. Good lord. Found it. <laughs> wow. One, two, th what was that? Ten companies? So yeah, this is going to get a little bit rough. Get another company in here while we can. All right, you guys are going to go here because I cannot guarantee your safety getting to that trench. One company down. These mortars. It's both of these, and so far I haven't seen them get attacked once. I think they only took a little bit of damage because some of these trenches were attacked. Speaking of, this trench is having a really bad day. Gone. That must be heavy battery. Leave while you can. 150... Ceasefire, yes. Uh, I'll choose to deny your ceasefire. I'm going to ca capture Alpha back. 
Let's see if this works twice. Once you're lucky, twice you're not necessarily good, but you might have found... Oh, you might have found an exploit. Maybe not. Run! I don't care if there's already in the way. Run! Run, run, run. So the AI does sometimes still attack, even when you call deny ceasefire. Maybe last time around they didn't have enough men to go on the offensive. This time around, either they still did, or they just chose to push whatever they had at Alpha. There, yeah, they did take the trench. Now they're going to hit the mortar pits. No, I do not exactly accept the premise of them taking my trench. Oh, it's time. Never mind. Just as these guys were going at it. So that is a ceasefire. Um, and as such, not a victory, most likely. I'm thinking just stalemate. Yeah. But they did lose 8 national will, and I only lost 2. They also lost 1,500. I took 16,000 men out. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be fairly painful for the Germans. So, defend, 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 up until the point where the tanks roll in. That's the plan. Bring the tanks. Correction to my last, I gained four national will. I didn't lose any. So I'm now on 737 versus 685. There's an event. British, French, Australian and New Zealand troops landed on the Gallipoli Peninsula in Ottoman Turkey. The assault was intended to free a passage through the Dardanelles and eventually capture Constantinople. Now, Istanbul... While the initial assault went well, the Allies didn't prepare for the determination of the Ottoman Turkish troops. The assault eventually deteriorated into trench warfare, just as it did on the Western Front. The summer heat quickly turned the battlefield into hell, causing sickness, full spoilage, spoilage and huge swarms of flies that were attracted to the corpses. Jesus. What an awful place. Okay, what do we have here? A place to land. That's the air thing. Uh, I don't care for this, so I'm just going to ignore it. And building progress. Research the limited exchange. I'm going to get 900 gold. I know what the limited exchange is. Um, it's, it's pretty... Yeah, here. It's pretty deep into the tech tree. In order to... Uh, well, I'm... If, eventually, I'll have to get this. Sure. But right now, I don't really see the benefit. I do see the benefit in getting the uh, storage shack, because it's going to increase the pipeline to 600 relative to 400. So I'll be able to draw from my main storage bank a bit more. The issue is, um, this is just a way to get the tanks for me. It's not really a way that I need to take right now. I'm thinking right now, the trench reinforcement is far more interesting. It's going to cost you 30 per trench. And with that, you'll be able to do uh, a whole lot better when you're coming under arty fire. So you'll take less losses. As for this, increase base damage by mortars by 60%. It's a heck of an upgrade. And eventually, you'll be able to start using um, the artillery gas attack. So it's not necessarily the mortar, but it's the gas attack from uh, the light field emplacement. No. Yeah, you need heavy batteries. That's when they can attack with gas, eventually with chlorine gas, then phosphine, mustard, and improved gas shells, reducing the cooldown by 15 seconds, but still very expensive. Since I'm on the defensive, I'm going to go with a fairly boring but very useful upgrade in the form of the trench reinforcement. So let's take that, and let's just ignore these because I don't particularly care for them. As for my stack, did the AI respond? Yes, they did. Over here in Sarbur, they do have a bunch more guys now. There's also a bunch more guys in Kolmar, so I'm expecting an attack here. Probably best to start shifting some troops around to Epinal before these guys decide to make a move. They already have a supply cache, so they should be fine. I don't think they're going to attack Lundville, uh, nor will I attack Sarbur at the moment. But what I did do is tie up their forces. If I just have a doom stack, then I'm presenting myself as a potential problem. So I'm forcing the AI to respond to me, even when I'm not actually going on the offensive. So in that sense, you can easily sort of fool the AI 
and make it so that they are reacting to you rather than the other way around. All right, that'll be it for today. A couple more defensive battles uh, so far are very successful. Definitely costing the AI a lot more than previous. And let's see what the next episode brings. Thank you guys for watching. I see you guys in the next one.